Hey, everybody is naturally poetic. Oh my goodness, this poem I wrote, been writing since yesterday. I mean, it is just unbelievable. I used to think God took my gift from me, like I haven't been writing, but he gave me this powerful poem. I don't know how long it is, and I'm naming it Destiny. And this is for um, my girls um, in Jersey that have held me down these last two years, you guys are amazing, and your names are in here. In opening my heart again, my thoughts focused on God. Fighting fibromyalgia and chronic back pain, I beg God to heal my body or just let me die. I've been in the wilderness for over 18 months. I felt like Job and even a monk, sat in sackcloth covered in ashes trying not to complain to my family the pain I was masking. I couldn't understand why my career car paycheck just disappeared overnight. Horrible pain was happening in my back, so I wrestled with God and tarried through the fight. Yes, I'm disabled. It hurts to walk and stand. But best believe I'll be okay. My spine has hurt for 29 years since the birth of my son, Dante. Now I understand why my papa and my uncles sat quietly in recliner chairs. Degenerative disc disease runs in our family and it's very hard to bear. This love I have for Jesus, I just would not let his cloak go. He told me at the age of five I had many seeds to sow. I really thought my purpose was fulfilled when mommy needed those morphine meds. I fed her, I bathed her, but the cancer had spread. It's too late, it's nothing we can do, the doctor said. So moving along recently, I found some old letters that I had written to God. I used to love riding on the steps with my dad in our ghetto neighborhood backyard. And watching a story of Scott Rigsby this morning on the Today Show, his unbroken spirit of walking in faith, it gave me hope, you know? One night, I heard the spirit say, Friend, you're moving just too fast. I need you to slow down and smell the roses, but you continue to work for cash. Your neck was on the verge, about to break and crack. So on May 31st, 2013, I had to stop you in your tracks. I actually saved your life that day, God said to my angry heart. Now be still in the wilderness until I say it's time for your new start. I know losing your mom was hard. She was a precious gem. Her body was very tired of the past way back when. She's my angel now watching over her children and her kin. Read your poetry out loud, even when in pain, even though your depression remains. You will heal, just continue to call out my name. Fibromyalgia makes your muscles feel like rubber and steel stretch to and fro. Your flesh cannot be relied upon. Trust my spirit, it will guide you and tell you when it's time to glow. You may be disabled, but, but you're alive. Just, you just have to move slow. Now take your time to look at the beauty that I surrounded in nature. I chose you to write it down in books on parchment paper. I didn't forget your family when your daughter's throat was slashed. I saved her life too, and two weeks later, I let your mom all pass. Through your trials, when trouble came all in the course of three years, Others are going through troubled times too. Tell them I'm the only God to fear. As your husband held your family close, he quietly held on to his faith and the Holy Ghost. I want you to look into the mirror every day at your radiant reflection. It's me you see providing you with guidance and acceptance. Your loud voice since a child has always reached the back of the room. You never needed a mic because I birthed your ministry in the womb. 
Read your poems out loud. It's a gift in time to let it show. Don't look at my people as numbers. Just focus on light, love, and the spirit and watch the godly flow. The ego is powerful. Everyone must recognize it and know. Your humbleness and surrendering will help others to grow. A calling has been on your life. It's time to listen to everything I say. It does not mean trouble will not come. It means your faith is much stronger and you're, fa and you're finally on your way. Hold your faith steady even when funds are short and the mortgage is due. Favor will always be there for your family, friends, and you. Just as you opened your rental properties when families with children were homeless and didn't have any rent, you followed my direction then, even though it didn't make sense. I saw the pain in your eyes. You could not see children on the street. Rob fell in love with you at that moment and helped you cover their rent. You sacrificed your credit trying to pay two mortgages and keep up with all the bills. Sacrifices like that is all in God's will. As a single mom, you never told a soul of how you lost those homes. It was so children had a place to stay warm during Christmas and rest their weary bones. You never judged them as they cried and you said welcome into my home. It was my plan all along for you to help those families too. That is why in one year, I let both your mortgage, mortgages go through. I have never forgotten what you did, the compassion you hold in your heart. Material things never mattered to you, so I knew letting them go would be easy for you to part. That's the love I want to see you continue to do through reading out loud your poetry. Your bedroom is where I wake you to write you always called it your sanctuary. The women that I have placed in your life over these years, you all have faced adversity. Let them know you are all connected in a season of prosperity. Let go of self when my words come through. My promises to all of you has always been true. Just follow the universal calling of Jesus. He will send righteous people to help each of you. Sister Antoinette Williams, Reverend Aisha Horsley, last name will change in a few. Minister Julie Chesney and First Lady Tamika McReynolds, just watch for the morning dew. You all endured and stood in faith with what each of you had to go through. All from the same little town, you all grew. You are all in the midst of a shift, a new season of restoration as your breastplate rests in me. God's promises will be fulfilled, moving in the realm of each of your destiny. Praise God now and do not listen to rumors or jealousy. I got this, ladies. Thank you all for fighting and standing tall in your ministry. I love you guys so very much. <sighs> God bless you. Peace, love, poetry, and all things natural.